Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, when you look in the Old Testament, I think it is the book of Judges, and I think it is around chapter 6 where God calls Gideon. And he calls Gideon to head up an army. Now, one thing we have to realize a lot of the things in the Old Testament goes for the New Testament and today, the here and now. And I know I gave a lot of warning, but listen, one thing God looks for is for people who are not absorbed in what they're doing in the very here and now and what they're doing for themselves. When he picked the army, he told Gideon to test because there were too many that volunteered. He told Gideon, have them all go down. To he, God picked 300, oh, excuse me, he had them all go down to the riverbank. And they were to, to drink the water. He told them, tell them to drink the water. I want you to hear this point. When he told them to drink the water, some were just totally in oh absorbed and consumed with what they were doing they were drinking the water okay but there were only 300 out of all the thousands that were there there were only 300 that got on their knees and scooped the water up with their hand and lapped it while they watched stayed aware, did not allow their thirst to consume their whole attention span. They remained very alert, very much aware of what was going on around their surroundings in order to not be caught off guard. That is the kind of person God is looking for, for the kingdom. When he's calling you to come, come out from among them, you're being separate, you're learning to live a holy life, you're learning God, you're learning his heart, his ways, the whole nine yards. Well, what ends up happening is while you're learning, you're supposed to be teaching yourself to watch. And the reason I say that is because if something breaks out in your house, an argument, you ought to know the difference between a, a simple aggravation and maybe stubbornness and the devil stirring up the nest. You ought to be able to sense the difference. Because when you look at a situation, you're not looking at it just from the human eye. You're looking at it through the discernment of the Holy Spirit. You're discerning what is behind this? What is really going on? Is this an issue? Or is this something that Satan is stirring up? He's stirring up confusion. Like one of the ladies told me, she said, every time I get ready to pray, every time I get ready to get in my prayer closet and read my word, my kids act a, a, a you know what. Every time. So I told her to start binding the demons that are messing through her kids to mess with her time with God. See, when we don't know what's going on, we get caught up in the moment. And that's exactly what Satan wants. So when you are going through this life, and it's just an everyday mundane thing, but we have no idea how much the enemy is maneuvering and slithering his way, stirring up the nest, stirring up fires that weren't even there, didn't even need to be there. We don't discern because we're not watching and praying. You've got to do that. Your life will be so much easier when you start nipping that, that, that little dog in the tail. I mean, you nip him in the bud. When devil come sniffing around, you kick him out your house right quick. Because if you don't get in the habit of kicking him out, 
he will become a part of your whole family drama because he'll be the one making the drama and you won't know it. Watch, pray, discern. You be surprised what a difference it does, what a difference it will make when after you discern what's really going on, you take authority. God bless you.